what is up guys welcome to a brand new episode of this playthrough today i have no idea what we're going to do last episode we actually finished clearing out a bunch of plague hearts everything's looking good i want to get uh a little bit of blood plague done uh some people are sick here so let me build those real quick craft medicine nope um craft medicine uh yeah let's just blood plague Josh, you know what I went on a rant about in uh, my uh, one of my episodes? Oh, what? I was talking about how great of a date going to a brewery would be. A brewery? Why? I got I got to mute the ladies calling me because okay. it's good go, food. Go go talk casual. to her. Go talk to her. The ladies calling you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning on into another episode. I'm Bring the Party. I'm here with uh, Big Blue Bug Gaming. If you guys want to go check him out, his his name is in the communities tab. I am excited to be here, of course. I'm trying to find the uh, infirmary. Oh, it's up here. Right here? It's not here? Where the heck's the infirmary? Over here? Other side? Am I blind? Am I dumb? How to heal those people. Oh, over here? Up here. Okay, found it. Here you go, buddy. Hey there. I'll try uh, to cough on you. Euthanize, give cure for be you know survivor to use. Euthanize? That's an option? Really, really if stuff goes too south, you just take them out? What about the constant gunshots? I think all guys trying to protect the city, but geez, man. Relax. Hand out some blood plague cures here. Nice. And everyone's back to normal. Okay, Woo. Gotcha, buddy. Take this. Nice. Back to where we need to be. Actually, do I have electricity yet? I think I did get it last episode or two, two or three episodes ago. Let me just double check my uh, my my base here. Yeah, we have electricity and water. Gorgeous. Um, that's good. Anything we can upgrade right now? I'm just flipping through these real quick to see if there's anything we can do. Knowledge of computers. Dang. We could do the Clio stuff, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's go see what the current mission is. Travel to Sarah's location. Okay, where's Sarah's location? Sarah. This will go travel to Sarah's location while... uh. Clio, you're out of control. Wait, do I have gas in the vehicle? I don't know if I have gas in there. Let me go grab gas just in case. And then we can go. Gas, gas, gas. Okay, cool. Got some gas here. Let me go fill up the tank. Then we're going to go to Sarah's location and do Warlord Explosive Heart. Sounds like a cool one here. Tank's full. I think my boy Demon's got my back. He filled that bad boy up. All right, let's go. Heading on down to Funky Town. Doo -doo. Very excited to be back, though. Another great episode of Save Decay. I am thinking we'll probably wrap up this series in uh, a little while. I'm not sure how much longer this series will go. I'll go until I complete all the missions, of course, per usual. I don't know if that's going to be a couple episodes, if that's going to be a bunch more episodes, but we will see. I'm trying to wrap up a bunch of series as I do need to uh, get prepared for a couple new releases that are coming out that I am quite hyped about. Um, and when those come out, I want to just make sure I am ready with a lot of extra time and I don't let any of these series die. In the past, I have been known. It's been a while since I've done it as I do usually try and wrap up series or at least announce an end. But there has been times when I just kill a series off. And I'm trying my best not to do that here. I'm trying my best to make sure we complete every series I do start. I know that's a big deal, and it's a big deal to me too. Especially if there's a community looking for the next episode, and if it doesn't come, I feel dumb. So, trying to wrap this bad boy up. We will see when that comes along. It will come along, but... Now, as I was saying... Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I don't like beer. So you're talking to the wrong guy. Could just do, you know, some sort of tutti fruity mixed drink. You're at a brewery. You're gonna look like a dummy. Well, I hate don't know. Beer. I think that's a great idea. Super casual. We, uh, me and uh, Tyler and a couple of our other friends 
all went to one in, uh, no. Prop. Sounds like a real bro fest. No, we had girls with us. We had the ladies. Hmm. And, uh, and the ladies. Dude, they, you literally just sat at a couch and you, you could walk over to this counter and they would just give you, you could just buy food. And they'd like make it like on like they could make you they'd make you like grilled pizza or something, and then you just sit and eat it on a couch with like an end table. <laughs> it was so awesome, super cash. I was like, this would be awesome. Just hang out, put up the legs on a little ottoman, hang out, sip on a little Ooh. beer. I almost killed Sarah on that one. I I disagree, but you do whatever you want. Mm, well, good news. I disagree with you, and my opinion's always right. Why don't you so, come to our base? Learn about Survivor. We need more people. Why don't you come to our base? You're the boss. Oh, she's coming. Okay. Hey, it's Mickey. Remember me? That's pretty easy. Oh, I, I kind of think she'd just be like, yeah. Uh, the car's looking pretty Other side. full. Oh, oh, back oh, door. Geez. Back door. Back door, okay. Noah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tuck in your feet. I gotta get going. Uh, could you scoot your seat up a little? It, it's on my toes. Noah, I... do. I need the leg room. You're not even... You're talking to the wrong person. Talk to Sarah. Sarah's the one in front of you. I'll shoot her. Noah! She's gonna be my ally. Just take her out for not giving me the leg room I deserve. I get it, Noah. You're tall. Not as tall as me, but you're tall. Dude, it's like half an inch. Half an inch more over here. What can I say? Six, one and a half versus six, two. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go left, I think. You know, I don't like this truck. Why? What happens if someone shot those gas tanks in the back? Mm, they're for happen? decoration. <laughs> decoration only. Yep, why? That's where you store items, actually. You just open up the gas tank and put items in it. Yes. Why do you hate my truck? It actually has a heavy armor kit on it. That's why it looks like this. It's actually this one of the safest vehicles you can ride in the post-apocalyptic world. Mm. You remember that? What was that TV show... No, well. no, I hate you. You know that. The colony. The colony! <laughs> the walking I'm kind of disappointed they canceled after someone died on set. And that ended up being fake news, Noah. Wait, nobody died on set? No. So why'd they cancel it? it just didn't do well. You mean it's not a good idea to, you know, do like uh, the... What's it called? Prison experiment? But uh, oh, <laughs> you're talking about the psychology thing where they shove yeah. a bunch of uh, Stanford grads, Stanford's prison prison experiment. That was named it. Yes, Stanford's prison experiment. They hired. It wasn't students. They hired people like sort of um, sort of part time, I guess. Optional. Talk about her feelings about Sarah. Talk about Sarah. Okay, let's go talk to this girl about her feelings about Sarah. Um, yeah. Stanford prison experiment. They hired people while doing some job. I'll do what's best for the community. Don't worry about it. I feel like she should just join. Am I? I think getting more people is a bit what's best for the community. Uh, yeah, and they put and they would put the pe they would put like some people in the basement to be prisoners, and they told some they were guards, and they had to cancel it after like a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like, what about that other one? What was it? The one where they put all the little kids in the old western town and the kids start like crying and freaking out? Oh, uh, what was that one? I watched a that, video. I thought that lasted over a season. I don't know. I feel like it ended near the end of the first season. What, what was, was that, that one called? And they like made like ev all these kids had to like essentially run a town. Mm hmm. Yeah, Anything democracy that and... throws the name experiment in it is just a bad idea. I'm convinced. Well, it was or obviously supposed you... to be like reality TV, but you really can't do reality TV with kids. You I'm sure really if you can't... did it with like normal humans. 
full no grown adults. I think then it would have the colony problem where these people kind of get a little, get a little, uh, yeah, they kind of got PTSD. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. So, yeah. and I don't think we even explained what the colony was. So, the colony was a supposedly post apocalyptic world. They got a bunch of like people who wanted to be in it, and it would be like scientists and stuff, and like uh, maybe someone from the military and survivalists and that type Mechanic. of stuff. Yeah. And they would have to like create a living space with like this old factory and just a bunch of rundown stuff. It was like 10 of them. I think it was on History Channel maybe or probably History Channel. And they would go through like these scenarios where traders would come and stuff. But the entire idea is it was post-apocalyptic. Really cool show. I actually do recommend watching it if you guys are interested in that type of stuff. It was reality TV. So like it wasn't obviously it's not real, but um, and it's not staged. But it was kind of interesting because they also presented a lot of cool ideas, kind of like a man vs. wild kind of presentation where they would like show you how they made something. So they made like water purification out of like stuff they found at a junkyard and stuff. And then they created, I think, a way to generate energy with like a bunch of junky items that they just found laying around. It was so weird, but so cool. Josh? Yeah. It's on Discovery plus no it's not is it really yes it is uh, i'm gonna go watch it gosh darn it uh, well there you go if you guys it's reviewed really well actually i think people liked it overall it does get my i got really busted on because there was one part where a old army soldier they didn't ex that part of it is they kind of do these staged scenarios but i don't think anyone's supposed to know it's staged but they went to like raid i don't even know what was it like a, a hospital hospital or and abandoned supplies yeah an abandoned hospital in the middle of it and they would kind of be told by the producers hey you have to get a group together and go to this abandoned hospital but then the producers got someone and took them off the tv show and like they died or got captured or something was kind of the scenario and i think one guy he was an ex-army soldier and i swear he had a mental break in the middle of the episode and just starts bawling his eyes out and i was like geez dude this is this isn't good <laughs> Am I supposed to be watching this? Yeah, I was like, man, I think you literally and just. And then half, of, and then there's always that thought, like, is this staged? Thank you. And I feel like it wasn't, but maybe the whole thing was. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. It, it was just a weird scenario. I was like, gosh darn, man, guy had like a literal mental break in the middle of the episode. Could have just been him like crying because, eh, whatever. But, man, the entire thing. But it was a little cheesy. Uh, this guy kind of freaking out in the way he did. And obviously, it's a TV show in the end, so, like, no one actually got hurt. But you also have to take into account, like, I think prior to going in, they keep them up for 48 hours. Isn't that the other thing? Yeah, they, like, put into, like, a little world. They and put into a room, I think, for 48 or 24 hours, and they're not allowed to sleep prior to meeting everyone. That was the other weird part, which you kind of... But it was supposed to, like obviously recreate like if a bomb went off and you really are like stressed and you have to figure out what to do so you're awake obviously the wiki says the program follows a group of people who must survive in a simulated post-apocalyptic environment that that that's how it describes it there you go yeah that'd be an accurate description of it really cool show uh i wonder if there's any drama around Let's when are we going to start a podcast? A, uh... Huh? When are we going to start a podcast? Dude, don't tempt me. Noah okay. keeps so asking my, to start a I podcast. I want to. So my company, my marketing company, just re we are moving to a bigger building. Mm -hmm. And there's this room in the building. And our owner's like, this is where I want to do podcast and YouTube. And I immediately was like, let me know. I will happily take over that place in the company oh yeah that's fun we're we're gonna soundproof one of these rooms in this new building we're getting i was like ooh, mm -hmm. ooh, let i had me a know, baby well way back when i had a client who wanted to who's creating a vr arcade he's no longer with our company unfortunately there was some fiascos with him but uh he wanted to start an entire like thing with twitch and streaming these vr tournaments and i was telling them how to set it all up and they weren't willing to invest the money. But I was like, dude, you just need all this stuff. Because you know me. I did Twitch forever. I knew exactly what you needed, how to set it up, all the stuff, you know? I, I even gave him pricing on, like, our entire team. We have an entire digital design team in-house. I was like, dude, we can create all the graphics and stuff. Like, we got you. We'll make sure it's professional as heck. 
and set up everything. And uh, he ended up like saying no. I was like, okay, well, but it wasn't even that expensive. I think I gave him a pretty low quote on everything. I tried getting everything for a couple grand because you're not going to start an entire professional live streaming for less than that. You need a at least a $1,500, $2,000 computer. You need basic tripods, camera equipment. And I like tried getting everything. I just didn't go for it. Maybe your company would be cooler about it though. Yeah, that's something that would totally be in our space because we we don't. You're really good at digital media. We don't really. We kind of suck at digital media, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I remember coming on and we they were talking Facebook ads, Worse. and our people didn't know how to set up Facebook ads. I was like, does anyone know how? And obviously they send it over to the guy you know, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah I'll do it. But then he's not like supposed to be like client facing, mm. so it's like. I, I, I was surprised because we do mostly like other types of marketing. We'll do like print marketing. We'll do. Yeah, you guys are marketing. like the full marketing firm. Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of like uh, brand redesigns and brand repositioning. Yeah, branding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I oh, I still have space in my inventory. Good. I don't know. I guess every company has their niche, but either way, we should start a podcast. Oh. So Noah's been pushing me to start a podcast with him. Well, he wants to start it. I was like, dude, I'm not ready seems for like it. A, seems like a lot of effort. I feel like once we have our own house, once we both have our own house, we can make space for all of our stupid ideas. And that's kind of my thinking around it. I feel like right now I have too much going on with like the parents. And then I'm like, I don't want to mess something up. And then I'm like, I just want to be able to put my camera down somewhere where it's like, just have a backdrop and just be able to sit there. And I'm like, I don't have a space for that right now. Hey, I just need a finished there's a million basement. excuses, dude. You just got to start it up. I just need a finished basement. That's what I need. Just, this is my YouTube space, everything else, family space. The girlfriend can have the rest of it. <laughs> dude, that's why I'm looking at three bedrooms, just so I can have one room for me can't wait cannot wait so excited well you only work from home now. yeah 100 percent remote and that'll be permanent unless if i ever switch jobs which i have no intentions of doing anytime soon so you like your job i do what's I, the what's the saying the enemy you know oh it's the devil you know versus the devil you don't yeah the but idea and this this is probably very toxic thinking mind you i don't i don't recommend actually thinking like this but the idea is that You'd rather like stay with the thing that you know, like if it's a company you dislike, but you can tolerate, or if it's a boss that you dislike and you can tolerate, rather than starting over where it might be worse because you don't know what you're getting into. That's the theory the behind realm. that. Don't take it anywhere else. Just uh, yeah, work. work, it works okay. Like if you consider it like, is it worth switching jobs for like the same salary, for example? Is there upsides towards switching your job today if you're getting paid exactly the same? You'd say, well, I know what's going on here. I guess maybe, but I know all the facets of the company. Yeah, I know. I understand the company dynamic. If you totally hate your job and you dread going in, I highly recommend switching jobs. I really don't think you should stay at a toxic work environment. But if you can tolerate it, and if it's not like a mental hindrance, you should probably just stick around. Especially if you enjoy it enough that like, if you only dislike one or two aspects of it, a boss, a coworker, like, I don't know. That's the idea. That's the idea. It's not a great idea. Do whatever you guys want. I'm not giving, I'm not giving advice. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Don't take any of my life advice, but that's the idea behind it is that you stay where you are because it's something you know and understand. Yeah, so you like your job though. I love my job, love my job, love my coworkers. Everyone's really cool. Yeah, yeah I was saying that too. I was saying that to my coworkers the other day because I, because you know, I graduated in the spring. They're like, what do you want to do long term? I was like, I like this company. Like, you guys treat me well. I think the other thing like, is me and you are both so easy going that like, yeah. <laughs> I truly believe anywhere I'd go, I'd make it like enjoyable. enjoyable. Yeah, I feel that way too. I don't know. I listen to some people talk about their job and they're like, everything's so stressful, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't know. I just don't look at, I don't know. I think it's like maybe. I think maybe half, I think it's a 50, 50, half of it's the job, half of it's like your ass, you're like how no, you look at life. No matter where you go, there you are. I worked retail for 10 years almost, I guess like seven or eight years. And even when I was like 
even on a crappy day, I was like, eh, hey, whatever, it's money. I was like, eh, how much can I really complain? I've got it. Like, if I hated this job to the, to like a point where I would like couldn't stand it, I would just get up and leave. Wait, why is he going in? Is there something? Why in am there? I going in? Oh no, get out! Yeah, get out over here. Oh. We're leaving. <laughs> why is he going in? Well, I, if it was I demon, I would have gone after him because he probably knew something. You don't know anything, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, the other lie. Oh, no. so I did one of those. Uh, so I didn't even tell you this. I did a personality test at work, and they wanted to, like, so odd. They're like, could you do this personality test and send us your results? You could say no to that, right? Feels intrusive, but. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. I probably could have, but I was yeah. like, eh, whatever. I, it oh, who cares? Yeah. It's been an hour, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it this gave you five way. traits. One sec, I'm trying to pull them off my phone. It gave you five traits of like what you are. Yeah. Okay. I had nothing in execution, which I thought was funny. It was like, so the four like main categories were execution, influencing, relationship building, and strategy thinking, strategic thinking. Uh, my number one out of the five traits, my number one was communication. Doesn't surprise me one bit. My number two was positivity. Okay. Doesn't my number me. three was analytics. All right. My number four was winning over others, and my number five was competition. And I was like, kind of sounds pretty on. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you like that? You thought that was accurate? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, those are probably good answers. I, th I don't think those are bad. Yeah, it was like communication, positivity. And I mentioned it, and my boss goes, of course you're the positive one. <laughs> Nobody else in the company got positivity. Yeah, well. It's like, I think it's there's 42 traits or something. Jeez. And, you an and I answered questions for, I think it took me 35 minutes. You get like 20 seconds to like list something on a scale of 1 to 5. Yeah. It was interesting. I'd be interested in seeing how you, uh, how you would have scored. I'm sure we'll be almost identical. I was almost identical to David. Oh yeah. Yeah. David. What a character. <laughs> but uh, none, yeah, all my other coworkers had like completely different things. Yeah, not in the same ballpark. These trucks no, a lot of not at all. They, they were like telling us all of them. No yeah, if I didn't want to take, I didn't have to. I don't really care. But I thought it was going to be a fun little activity, and then it was pretty on key. I feel like that's kind of what I would have pegged myself at yeah. those uh, positions. Damn, they really bombed the shit out of this place. Aunt Matt must have really Positivity was one of my highest. To make him do this. Loser. Being positive. Freaking, why are you so happy? It says they were just supposed to arrest. Yeah, I don't know if mine would be the same anymore. Ever since I've been a boss, I feel like I've gotten a little cold. <laughs> a little cold. <laughs> I've been trying to better it, but I definitely have a more get your work done type of thing, which was never how I was. Uh, what you got there? Then I was laughing with my coworkers, and they're like, "I got." I, he he goes, "I got nothing in execution." I was like, "Well, if you have enough in." Uh, if you have enough in influencing, you can uh, get them to do the execution for you. This is just goddamn crazy. They were here just to arrest her, and she blew up our home. You should make a D and D character based on those traits. D and D, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't goddamn okay. I was listening to these. Uh, I was listening to a podcast. Uh, people talk about D and D, and he they were playing at like a convention. Mm -hmm. And they were saying how they made everyone else at the table upset because there was like a big fight going on, and they were in like a sewer fighting an alligator. D and D is weird. And there were like three exits, and the th other three people at the table were fighting, and then the two friends started blocking off another sewer entrance. And they're like, "There's an alligator here. Can you help us fight?" And they're like, "Can I walk over there and place a bear trap <laughs> and block the entrance?" <laughs> and everyone was getting all mad because everyone was uh, getting knocked out of D and D while they were playing around with another entrance. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hope you guys enjoyed the banter. Sorry we don't really talk much about the game when we play. 
that's kind of what you get with us. We, we are always just having fun goofing around. But I really appreciate viewership and support. I'm always enjoying these, and I always enjoy having Big Blue Bug Gaming here. If you guys want to show him some love and have some laughs, have some goofs, have some gaps, go check out his channel at Big Blue Bug Gaming. You can find that in the Communities tab on my channel. Thank you guys once again for all the support on the series. It's one of my most successful series. State of Decay in general has hit a all-time high for me. It has slowly been coming down over the past few weeks, but D&D had... D&D? Oh. Noah. Son of a... State of Decay is definitely one of my uh, most... We should do a D&D podcast. Absolutely not. Uh, is one of my best performing games on this channel, and it's because of you guys watching subscribing liking sharing and doing all that stuff man anyways i'll catch you all in some future episodes but for now let me let you all go we'll talk soon but i'll see you guys later have a great night